you just came off stage maybe uh, 10 minutes ago. Um, how was it uh, playing for Rockfest? Awesome. Like, that was fucking awesome. The Montebello Festival is fucking awesome. Like, that was great. Detox, Rockfest. I, I want to play it again, you know, and again and again and again. Because I think that um, not only does it uh, have a mix of nice mix of music, but man, we had such a good crowd. Like, and I actually think that you can step up your numbers by playing festivals like this. Like, next time No Use comes through Quebec solo, it'll probably be better because of uh, you know detox because of Montebello but um so I think it's it's a great festival you know you had fun out there yeah <laughs> I had fun I was really drunk I was so nervous that I drank too much but you know a lot of people uh, including myself um, grew up listening to No Use For A Name I'm, uh, my teenage years were uh, uh, my, the soundtrack to my teenage years was uh, was punk rock and uh, it was a No Use For A Name so when you uh, when you started playing uh, uh, things like uh, Justified Black Eye or uh, International U Day you know it it struck a chord a lot so it's uh, I, I think a lot of people out there uh, like me are um, maybe uh, they're turning 30 and they're just uh, they were really grateful that No Use For A Name came to play. How were you on stage? Did that energy tra translate on stage? Yeah, totally. I think that um, the fans here were very excited. And after such a long day of seeing so many bands, I couldn't believe how much energy they still had. And we had the twilight spot where the sun's going down. It's the best spot to have. Because everybody's running out of energy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. At the, if you play at 11, there are people. Everybody's like throwing up and stuff. <laughs> and um, seeing those kids out there um, that, unlike myself, um, didn't grow up listening to No Use for a Name and are just getting into punk rock or are just getting into harder stuff and harder music and um, fast music. Um, did you see a lot of these out there that might um, not? necessarily show up at a New Year's for a Name show that we're there today and maybe you reach to a whole new crowd today? Yeah. Young kids, young people. Um, so they're watching because maybe their older brother or sister told them about us. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, their older brother or sister said, Oh, these guys are amazing. You gotta check them out. So, I'm thinking in my mind, oh God, I gotta be amazing. <laughs> you know, so I'm trying really hard, you know, up there. So, but I'm having fun at the same time. Any other band that you wanna go see play tonight or maybe tomorrow or? Uh... Bad Religion, of course. Tomorrow I'm not gonna be here. Tomorrow I'm gonna be at home uh, with my kids. I can't wait to see my kids but uh, tomorrow I'll be home I think and then um, but tonight I'm gonna watch Bad Religion because it's kind of they're like they're like it for me they're like my favorite band of all time I think they influence every punk band there is from them and beyond the whole Fat Wreckers and Epitaph scene would have never happened without Bad Religion never well, Tony, we'll let you uh, finish that. Wow, that looks delicious. Uh, finish your plate. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time.